You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hoon, Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Kristen Anderson, and Corey McCloskey in HD. Good morning to you guys. A new study has come out saying that there's a link between the size of a woman's breast and her chance of getting breast cancer. We're here at the Arizona Breast Cancer Center, and we're going to get some, uh, find out exactly who's at risk, how much more you're at risk. We'll talk about the study coming up. All right, welcome back in the Health Wire. An interesting new study finds women with bigger breasts have a higher risk of breast cancer. Uh, so this morning, we want to know why, and Christy Siefkin is out with a breast cancer specialist to explain this. Good morning. Good morning to you, Andrea. Yeah, traditionally, we thought there was no connection between the size of a woman's breast and her risk of cancer, but this new study is throwing that out the window. New School of Thought, and Dr. Sikuski is going to talk to us about it. He's a breast cancer specialist, and thank you for joining us this morning. You've got a thank series of, of x-rays for us to look at, and we were talking about earlier how this study is really groundbreaking in a lot of ways, kind of throws the old school of thought out the window. It does. We're taught in medical school that uh, Marilyn Monroe has the same risk of breast cancer as a wafer-thin model, and apparently that's not true. And it's not so much ha the, the density of the breast per se, but something else. Tell us about that. Well, it's the genetic profile of a person. You know, what makes you blonde and makes somebody else dark-haired? A woman who is thin but still has D-sized breast have, are born with a genetic makeup that they have a lot of receptors to estrogen. Okay. So when a girl is 12, 13, and her breasts are starting to develop, and she has a lot of these receptors, mm -hmm. then she's going to grow big breasts despite perhaps being thin. So it's an issue of the receptors then, opposed to actually the, the density of the breast. And, and this study was showing a connection between the gene that determines the size of breast and, and the risk, right? Is it a lot higher, a much higher risk? Well, it makes sense when you think about it because if the breast develop in response to estrogen, cancers are also stimulated by estrogen. Right. So it's the same thing. And the risk is uh, slightly higher mm -hmm. in large-breasted women compared to small-breasted women, but we still have plenty of small-breasted women with breast cancer. Right. And that's a really good point that Dr. Kuski has just made is the fact that you have larger breasts doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get it. And if you have small breasts, don't sit back and think, okay, I'm not at risk because of this new study. So how much with this new information does it increase the risk? You had told me may maybe just slightly then for, for larger-breasted women, it's not a huge increased risk. Well, we need more research, but it may go one in eight women will get breast cancer. So if you have a large breast, it may go to one in six and a half uh, chance okay. of getting breast cancer. And is there information that you'd like to share with people in terms of, of screening themselves or awareness with this new information or kind of the same, you know, self-checks, awareness for everyone that you've, you've always shared as, as the suggestion? Well, this is an exciting new era in breast cancer detection mm -hmm. because we may screen women not just based on family history uh, or alcohol consumption, but we'll also look at breast size and maybe even probe the gene and be able to look at you, your gene and say, you have a high risk of breast cancer. We're going to screen you more carefully. Fantastic. And that's great to know that there might be additional screenings to maybe catch it earlier in some patients. Dr. Kuski, thank you so much for being with us today. Very interesting study, guys. Uh, definitely new information that changes the way that we're looking at uh, detecting breast cancer and those who are at risk. Back and the guys. earlier you detect it, the better, no matter what. And that's why Absolutely. doctors, every time us women go to the doctor, every month you have to check yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, the self-checks at home in addition to going to see the doctor. You know, don't take the research as, you know, oh, I'm really at risk. I should be terrified or I'm not at risk anymore. Continue with those same practices, yep. obviously. Be the proactive, best advice. for sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Christy.